Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. So now that we've traded for all these items in the shop to be here, let's put them to use. We can also talk to them over here. No, 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 young master, I have ill news. Someone has been fiddling with my safe. I come to the shop first thing in the morning, and dear me, I see signs suggesting someone fiddling with things. Perhaps someone has been sneaking in here at night and doing shady things. But I do not have any proof. Dear me, such a mystery, if only I could catch them in the act. I could scold them, and oh, what a scolding I would give. We can also, I believe, if I'm not wrong... No, I can't, okay. I thought I could sell these back to him. But I guess not, so... Instead for now, let's start buying some stuff to put around. Because we will need to actually do some other stuff with these. Since every time we get one, it explains to us how to put it somewhere. So... Just want to find a good spot to put something first to show how this works. I feel like over here is a good spot. Let's put... Well, we can see these things all around the island here. Just in inside houses, sometimes outside. But we want to stand next to them. And you can place an item inside of them by pressing it right next to them. And we can also remove them if we want to replace them. So we can actually decorate the island as, uh, however we want, so. And I might spend a bit of time in rupees trying to just decorate it as best I want, so. But, yeah, I don't know. I'd love to see what other people, how other people decorate their islands. Words are hard sometimes. But anyway, let's also go into here, which I probably should have read the sign first outside. I'm pretty sure that's a sign outside, at the very least. No, it's not a readable sign. But anyway, this place is a potion shop. Hello, hello, and hello. You are standing in one of uh, the one and only two... Jelly juice shop. You must have heard, our potions are the best, I'm telling you. They're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. Hmm? What's that? What's... Ah, uh, chew jelly, you ask, looking somewhat bewildered. Oh, sir, you completely... You simply must be joking. You don't know what chew, chew jelly is. Well, just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing ele element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The words chew jelly roar out in answer to these questions, proclaiming themselves to be true. Why, it is the key ingredient in the most powerful, effective potions around. All you have to do is bring an empty bottle to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir. Do you have an empty bottle? I do, but I should also do some other things. We can also roll into the wall to break things and get rupees. Ah, uh, but anyway, I also wanted to come in here. I need the cursor. Why does it do that? I don't know. But we have these two skull towers that I want to set in here. So let's do that. Just think it, think it makes a little bit of sense. Hello, hello, and hello again. This is... The Chew Jelly Juice Shop. We on use only 100% natural Chew Jelly here, I assure you. Have a look. We can buy a red potion for 20 rupees here. Drink it to replenish your life energy. One drink washes away all weariness. Red potion 20 rupees? I'll buy it. That's a red potion. Set it to a button to use it and replenish your life energy. You can keep it in your bottle. la do. Thank you much, Lee. Farewell. So, we now have a red potion that we can use to restore a decent amount of health. I think it's probably 8 to 10 hearts, something like that. I can't remember. But it's a good amount of health. But I'm going to drink it right away because I need an empty bottle. Actually, I probably should have done the fairy since the fairies are easy to come by. Or even grandmother's soup since we can just get refills of that whenever we want. But I mean, rupees aren't, haven't been a problem so far, so. Uh, but he's only got the red potion there, so... Ah, uh, hang on. 
Our restorative juices are specially made with plentiful por portions of chew jelly. If you get your hands on any chew jelly, please, I beg of you, bring it to my shop. So, let's have a look at the chew jellies that we have. I think I want to start... I'll start with red. Take a look at this, sir. <gasps> Is that... Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? It's quite clever of you to be bringing such quality ingredients to me. I'll take five of them if you can spare them. And to thank you, I'll give you one free serving. Not a bad deal, no sir. And so it gives us a red potion just for five red chew jelly. So that's easy to get more of, I guess. For every five globs of chew jelly you bring me, I'll give you one free potion. Come back after you collect more of that wonderful gooey potion making stuff. Well, let's get rid of that. And let's get out a different color of chew jelly. Also, that's a lot of smoke, fog stuff up there. I shouldn't be concerned right now, should I? Probably? I don't know. Anyway, I have so much more green than red for some reason. Take a look at this. <gasps> Is that... Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Huh. Oh, ho. Ah, this is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Not according to, uh, to the numbers that I have of them. Perhaps it indicates a new breed. What a fascinating... Fa ah. Fascinating chew... Fascinating jelly development. I've never seen one of these... This particular cue on paw print aisle. A small atoll. Famous for its robust... Uh, chew population. But I digress. And the game is afoot. For when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I have been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Oh, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh! That's it. 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 That's the sparkle I was looking for. That's that sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka. I'm going to use this chew jelly to create a brand new, unheard of, uh, a kind... Of kind of potion. It's been ten years since I began my legendary study, uh, now legendary studies of ch of the choo choo, of the choo jelly. Why do you not call it choo choo jelly? I call it choo choo jelly. I just choo jelly. I must be begin mixing this new potion before my first new inspiration in years vanishes. It's ready at last, my new chew jelly concoction. It's still piping hot, and I want you to have this first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. I can't imagine the chew jelly being, like the, the potions being warm for some reason. But anyway, got some green potion, which is very hard to see that text at first for some reason. Set it to a button to use it to recover your magic power. You can keep it in your bottle. La dee do. My next project is to create a gripping advertisement for my new potion. You come back anytime. So now, we have a green potion to restore our magic whenever we need to do that quickly. Hello, hello, and hello again. This is the yes, I know. So now we have the red potion available in the shop for 10 rupees, as long as we have an empty bottle to put it in, obviously. This completely refills your magic meter. Take a swig of it to ease your heart. So that's a full magic meter there. I don't know if it, the red potion replenishes all weariness then. I don't know. But anyway, we have one more color of chew left. I'm guessing... They actually used a fair bit of my green chews, but I guess that makes sense as to why I had so much then. Let's use the blue. Which I believe we need 15 drops for this. <gasps> is that, could it possibly be, did you bring me by chance a chew jelly? This is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates new breed. What a fascinating jelly development. I've never seen one of this particular queue on Port Print Isle. A small atoll famous for its robust chew population. But I digress, and the game is afoot. For when it comes to making potions, I'm a true artist. I've been shown something of, something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. 
All right, wait for it. Here it comes. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I can't speed. It's the same text as before. Brand new, kind of unheard of kind of potion. It's been ten years since I've begun my work now. Legends are such a new potion. Before my first first new inspiration in years vanishes. What about the previous green one? Never mind. I like the wasp on his on the back of his clothes. It, it is ready at last. My new chew jelly concoction is still piping hot, but hot, and I want you to have this first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. Got some blue potion. Replenishes both life, energy, and magic power. Keep it in your bottle until you need it. la dee do. My next project is going to, is to create a gripping adver advertisement for my new potion. You come back anytime. So now, we used up all of the blue chews that we will ever need. I don't think we can trade any more of them since I don't think there's enough to trade more f for it. But now, we can buy blue potions for 60 rupees, just whenever we want. I'm pretty sure you can have multiple potions, so we could also have multiple blue potions just with us whenever we need it. This push, powerful potion replenishes both life, energy, and magic power. It is an incredibly effective dose of medicine. No thanks, I'm good. We've already got one. But now I also need to figure out where the last bottle, empty bottle is because there's meant to be four and I don't have the last one, so I somehow don't know where that is <laughs> yet. I obviously don't know this game well enough, but anyway, that's all the potion shop stuff done. That took a while. So, let's head back to our main task that I had, which I guess was to decorate the island, but I don't know if I want to work on that right now. But while we're here, we can also see uh, that the, the pinwheel moves around and the skulls bounce around. I think the flags will also probably sway in the wind. Uh, the flowers do their own little swaying thing. Uh, but the statue of the guru and the postman I don't think do anything special probably. I might have to double check that. But I do know that if we buy the fountain idol and take that somewhere which I think I want to put it down here probably. So let's get that out. I might also set some other stuff so I don't accidentally use my blue potion. Uh, I guess leaf. Or boomerang. Something. If we put that down. It has water coming out of the top. But I believe... Possibly, if we get away from it... No, something... I know it does something. But I don't know how to make it do it. No, I don't want to put it back in the delivery bag. I'm sure it does something else. I'm pretty sure it tips it over us occasionally. But I guess it doesn't want to do that. Yeah. Well, anyway. That's cool. Um, I guess I should do the other thing before I decorate the entire island, which I'm probably going to want to decorate the island in a quick sped up fashion. So, but for now, let's head up Head to night time, if that makes any kind of sense. Everything's shut up for the night, but look who's down here, who usually hangs around the shop area in the in the in the day. Take off, go away. Okay, I'll go this way. I guess. Did I do it right? No, I didn't. I'm just go up this way. And look what happens. Starts to run off. I'm pretty sure that the fountain just did something as well. Oh well. We need to follow her. While we're remaining hidden behind things if we can. Be very careful not to get seen. More following her.
use the camera to your camera angle to your advantage. I probably want to be a bit slower falling behind. Since she's going to go up that ramp and that makes it very easy for her to spot you. If she spots you, she'll just run away and you have to restart. Where is she? Oh, <gasps> right there. Wow. Oh my goodness, I nearly walked right into the line of sight. Who's that? I think she heard me. Just make a cat noise and she won't worry too much, I don't think. But I'll need to be a little bit more careful than that. Yeah, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Oh, right there. Just need to be very careful. Keep following her. She goes over there and through the shop area. Over to the safe. And trying to break in for money. You, you startled me. What, what, what do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. Wait, are you... The kind of creep that go who goes around at night uh, scaring people? That's just plain mean. Just who do you think you are anyway? An ally of justice. Uh, what? An, an ally of justice? I, I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just a uh, impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Sure. I was once the richest little, uh, debutante. I think that's the way to say that, pronounce that. In this town. Did you know that? But one day, a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune, gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now every day, from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open air shop. So as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiful life? Pit pitiable life. The options. That's terrible. And to make matters worse, for some reason I still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to... something terrible, girl. Do you understand my plight? Uh, very well. Then you'll let me go. Unfortunately, no. Why not? Because I'm honest. It's true. I know I'm quite uh, quibbling, <sighs> quibbling all over, over nothing. But being poor, so being so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing feeling! I've let all my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please take this. There's the last empty bottle. Thank you. Oh, I really needed that, so... Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the che cheesiest things without blinking an eye. Humph. So, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will be stu will, will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye, thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks for coming. Thanks for tonight. And we just let it go. 
You can also do this without having done the shop stuff already. But she has to go walk through here because if you've already done all the trading, she would have to go through that anyway, so... It's probably a little bit faster, possibly, to just uh, do it earlier. Uh, but anyway, now that that's done... I guess I should start working on the trading, no, the decorating of the island. So I'll just start doing that in sped up form. Okay, I'm back. I think I've got pretty much everything I need to, but before we go any further, I need to actually drop down here. Because there are two to put up here, which I'm going to put the the sea flowers in. I'm just uh, upset slightly by the fact that you can only hold three statues, flowers at a time. There's also a chest up here that I never got because I forgot about it. It's a red rupee, so what a pleasant surprise when I'm spending so many rupees. I hope I'm- I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of decorating the place up, so. But there's actually another place that we need to put some more flowers in, which is not actually in the town. So we're actually gonna have to go out of our way to fill up every spot. So I need to buy another sea flower. Although, no, I'll do sea flower. I wanted to do it as decorative as possible this time. I don't usually put this much effort in to decorating everywhere. Actually, I think I also forgot this one over here. No, the two over here. Of course I always forget those two. Do I have any... Hang on. I have one more spot available, so I guess I could make a couple of trips. It's just a lot of back and forth work, since you don't have enough space. And if you want to put something in some th somewhere specific, it just... It goes round in circles, pretty much. Just gonna put some town flowers in here. I usually just do town flowers since it's the cheapest option. Oh hi, we meet again. What, of course? Honestly, I'm working. How dare you suggest that? I'm done with all that sneaking around in dark, in the dark. In fact, I'm ahead off to a faraway island to work in the evenings now. So I won't be seeing you at night anymore. All right, well, all right. Now, you're keeping me from doing my job, so could you please step aside? This way to the only stall with extra fun. Happy things for sale. Step right, please stop by. She's actually doing a pretty good job of that at the moment. Anyway, just one more town flower. And I could probably set up more flags, but I feel like the only spot that I can really set them up is on top of that archway, so... Anyway, let's get this other flower into the spot. And there we go. I think that's all the ones in the town, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong, which means I'm going to have to do a little bit of moving around, trying to figure out where I've missed any spots. Uh, but for now, let's actually go to a different island completely to put these last two flowers into place. So, for this we need to go... I guess Tower of the Gods is probably fairly close to where we need to be. So let's do that. Okay, and we need to go... I think it's that island there. 
probably directly south of us. Also, I shifted a few things around because I wasn't entirely happy with the things I did, so. I'm just glad, kind of glad, that there aren't any places to put them on wind, no, outside island. Or any of the other main islands. Because going to all of the different main special islands to put flowers and statues seems like a lot of work. But anyway, let's head on up here because all the way up here, completely far away from Windfall Island, are two more spots for us to put in flowers. Hopefully that's the only two, because if I'm wrong about this, then I'm going to be in trouble. Anyway, let's put that one. Nope, don't do that. I don't want to throw it away. I really wish you could actually just sell them back at the, at the store, instead of having to throw them away. Put those two there. I think that's all of them. I don't think there's any back here that I need to worry about. Uh, but while I'm here, I might actually do a thing up here. So let's get out our hook shot. And aim at the tree. And let's get this random tree chest that's up here. That looks important. Another treasure chart. Cool. Another one down. I almost got all of them. Let's just check where this is for. There it is. Number 27. Okay, that's interesting. I think that's there. Okay. I don't know if I should go get that immediately or if I should get it in just a minute. Uh, let me go back to Windfall Island first, I think, since I have to go back there anyway at some point, so... Nope. There we go. Windfall Island. And hopefully I've hit all the places that I need to put flowers and statues. It doesn't matter what you put in the, in the positions, you just need to fill up all the positions. There's one building I didn't go into yet because I wanted to hold off on that until after we did the stuff we need to do in there. Um, but let's head on up here. All the way. It's this little bit out here where this guy is sitting on his bench. And let's talk to him. Have you seen uh, the small metal pedestals all around town? We call those joy pedestals. Yeah, but they... they got installed a little while ago by the newly formed Joyous Volunteer Association. It's part of this grand plan to help decorate the town. Anyway, they're brilliant. I may as well tell you that both myself and Zinari, the guy who runs that stall over there, are members. You just have to be part of st stuff like this. Wow, Windfall just seems to be filled with joy lately, don't you think? Say, you wouldn't have been cooperating with the volunteers, have you? You know what I'm think no I'm talking about decorating the town. Oh really? You have? Wow, it never fails to amaze me how kind and thoughtful folks can be. I know. I'll return your kindness with some of my own. And for all that we get a piece of heart. I hope you'll all continue to help the Joyous Volunteer Association with its work, Little Joy Junior. So there we go, that's all the pedestals filled in, because that's how we get the piece of heart from that guy. After talking to him a few times. Okay. Where's my boat? There. Just hiding behind the edge of everything. We're almost done with Windfall Island, I think. But there's a few more things I still need to do, so... Let's go to uh, Dragon Roosting, then head to that other island for that uh, treasure chart that we just got. Windfall Islands is surprisingly full of things to do. You look at it and it doesn't look like much, but when you're actually doing it, you can it 
there's a lot to do. It just progresses so much. And I like... The decorating of it is pretty cool, now that I've done it. And done as good of a job as I possibly can. Because it looks really cool with the different flowers and statues everywhere. I, th I think I also used all of the different types. I might be wrong about that. No, I did. I used all the flags, I used all the flowers, I used all the statues and... All that. I'm quite happy with that, actually. Could be better, but also don't put any flags indoors. Because they just do not look happy. And also... Um... The postman statues actually flap their wings occasionally, like just a little bit. And the shop golden sh shop guru, guru statue uh, rotates after you've placed it, so that's also pretty cool. But anyway, there's only one. Uh, what's it called? Fountain statue thing. But I don't really need more than that. But anyway. There's that treasure now, so let's head back to Windfall for probably the last time, if I'm not mistaken. Which I'm easily- I could easily be mistaken, so... I really don't know. But anyway, I think for now, that is it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.